Popping again, Aaron Rodgers is under pressure. He goes down, loses the ball, but falls on it. Yeah! Let's go! All day! Quarter number one, back-to-back -back turnovers. Off the play fake, falls in trouble, down he goes. Back at the 49-yard line. At Raymond James Stadium. And now there roars go. off of the timeout. Roethlisberger, ball comes out, rolling around, and Pittsburgh falls on it. That was B.J. B. Third down and seven, a four-man rush, and now Trubisky is sacked. Now they, the two outside guys, last year they really struggled with any type of outside pressure. You see him get his hands inside. When he's out of Detroit, guys that have had good careers. And the first time we just talked about it. This blitz pack, quick blitz pack, it's coming up now. Mayfield on third down in trouble, they got him, and down he goes. Dalton's a throw, and he's on the move, and it's knocked down inside the 15 yard line by Jason Pierre Paul. Dalton with time. Trying to work his way out, and he's sacked at the 40. Jason Pierre, but he could get a fine in a letter saying not to be so mean. Sacked all the way back close to the 15 yard line is Peyton. This is a big sack here. Jason Pierre Paul. Oh, that's what he is. From the 26, off the play fake. Down goes Mullins. It's JPP, Jason Pierre Paul. Yeah. Empty backfield from the gun. Newton wrapped up. Down he goes. Jason Pierre Paul. You never had that problem. That's why you can put the finger on them. That's a sack there as Ryan goes down. And last against the pass. Pressure coming to the outside. What a snap jump. And Tannehill goes down. That pressure from Shaq Barrett into the backfield. And then Jason Pierre. Trying to get four or five guys out in the pattern. Fourth down and five, and Ryan in trouble and goes down. That's the sixth sack of the game, and Jason Pierre Paul and a loose ball picked up and run in by Sue. Touchdown. First down and 15. Foles is still on his feet for a second or two before Jason Pierre Paul. Puts him down for good. Third sack of the game. There are no unbiased sports fans from the second and eight for Watson. He's taken down. First sack of the game. Jason Pierre Paul backs him. I'll tell you what, guys, this is a crucial. They always fell for it, but after a couple of talking twos, they didn't anymore. One yard gain as Watson tries to escape trouble and can't this time. Jason Pierre Paul's got his second sack of the game. Bucks all three timeouts remaining. Here's Watson. They're going to throw it to start, and Watson is going to go down. It's Jason Pierre Paul with the hat trick. Himself on Julio Jones. Down the bottom of your screen. There it is. Yeah, pressure again, incomplete. He wanted him. I think they're making a rule this a fumble. Picked up and returned by Devin White. He's going to go the distance for the touchdown. Sound the cannon. There you go. So, Tim, they'll let that thing go, and then they'll look at it. That's the safest thing to do. And this was so close, they let it go, and it allows the defense to pick it up and run it back for a touchdown. And if it is clearly a pass, then replay can change it. If you go the other way and rule it incomplete, then the best they can do is give the ball to the defense, but now we've taken away that opportunity. Third down. He's in trouble and sacked. Jason Pierre Paul again. They needed that. That was a big play. He hasn't even started to begin yet. Here's a blitz and a sack. JPP. Bridgewater under pressure and he gets ripped down by Jason Pierre Paul. That's a good thing. Ends up being offsetting either way. Second and four. More pressure on Rippin. Loose ball. 
And the Broncos come to Cordero Patterson. They like him out of the backfield on some of these routes. Falls in trouble, falls out. Bears able to get back on top of it. Jason Pierre-Paul forced the fumble. Nice job of mixing it up and not giving up any big plays. Rodgers is sacked. David was back there with Jay. He can do a decent enough job to where they get to keep their job. Boyle is stripped to the ball and able to get back on top. It's downfield, but just take advantage of this offense. Still right there. Still all out in front of him. Again, Jones is and showing how tough he is. Third and four. Bridgewater in trouble. Steps away. And sacked. Jason Pierre-Paul, who had the interception earlier, now has the... Seeing that development take place. Second and six. Steps up. It's going to go down as a sack. Getting to him was JPP. Lava Sue. Really great lead and just failed to capitalize. Just a four-man rush. Ball is out. Picked up by JPP. And the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will take over as... ...between the two cities. Second and eight. Rodgers is set. Back near the five by Jason Pierre-Paul. Tampa Bay racked up five sacks in that week six meeting, and they get Rodgers again here. Yeah, Jason Pierre-Paul, he's working against Billy Turner there at left tackle, one-on-one. -on -one. They ask these tackles a lot to block without any help. And JPP puts a good move on him. He's able to get back. Rodgers does not run it. After that 23-yard completion, Lazard, and now a sack by Jason Pierre-Paul. That is the third sack by this Tampa Bay defense. Opens up that huge lane. Not much you can do about that defensively. And now swallowed up in the backfield as Hurts again. Vita Vea. That was the first down. Here's Fields. Bodies around him. And again, the ball comes out. Jack Barrett picks it up. Loses it himself. White has it. And he's tackled down by Daniels at the 25. -er. Anyway, try to keep the possession. Fields. Oh, unable to slip out of it. JPP had hold of him. And brought him down, and they turn it over on downs. Caps had to burn that timeout. It may show up. Stafford. Oh, he, he, oh, he couldn't have fun, but he did. But he holds on to it. Jason Pierre-Paul is right.